petrol well is something that we use every single day right whether it is in your scooter in your car or even the buses that we take to school petrol is everywhere life without petrol is a bit difficult to imagine no petrol means no transportation but what if i told you petrol actually comes from aquatic creatures you may ask what Yes, you heard that right. Petrol, this fuel that keeps our world moving, has its origins in tiny creatures from millions of years ago. Right? Unbelievable, right? But how does it come from aquatic life? Well, to begin with, what is petrol? Let's try to answer some of these questions in this video. To really understand how petrol is formed, we need to take a little trip way back in time. We are talking about millions and millions of years ago. Sounds like a long time, right? Well, that's because it is. Petrol was not formed overnight. It was formed millions of years ago. So back then, that is millions of years ago, the aquatic life or the marine organisms were living their best lives in the ocean. But when they died, their bodies didn't just disappear. Instead, the dead remains sank to the bottom of the sea and got buried under layer after layer of sand and clay. And that's where the magic, or I actually should say science, happened. Over millions of years, with no air to break them down, because it's underwater, and under immense amount of heat and pressure deep inside the earth, these remains slowly transformed into petroleum and natural gas. Unbelievable, right? It wasn't something that happened overnight, not even close. It took millions of years for this precious fuel called petroleum to form. That's why it is so valuable. So the petroleum we get in its original form, called the crude petroleum, isn't exactly the clean, usable fuel we put in our vehicles. Nope. It's actually a dark, thick liquid with a very strong smell. And trust me, in this raw form, it's not something that we can just pour into our vehicle's tank and drive off. That's where refining comes in. Crude petroleum has to go through a process called refining, or more specifically, we call it refining of petroleum. This is where it is getting separated into different useful petroleum products, which we are going to see soon. And where does this all happen? All this happens in this massive industrial plants called oil refineries. These refineries are usually set up near oil wells. Oil wells are where from where the oil is dug, making it easier to process the crude oil right where it is extracted. This whole journey of petroleum from deep underground to the fuel we use today in cars and scooters is nothing short of a sophisticated and a fascinating process. So now let's talk about the various constituents of petroleum or different things we actually get from petroleum after it's refined. You will be surprised how many useful products come out of this process. First up, we have liquefied petroleum gas, popularly known as LPG. Right? This is a petroleum gas in which is being turned into a liquid form and it is a super important fuel used in homes and industries for cooking and heating. Right? We all have an LPG gas uh, stove and a cylinder at home. Next up, we have a big name in the transportation industry that's petrol. This one needs no introduction. It's the most popular product of petroleum and used as a motor fuel for cars and bikes, aviation industry, and it's also used as a solvent for dry cleaning actually. And then we have diesel, which is another big name after petrol in the transportation industry. Diesel fuels heavy motors like vehicles, trucks, even your school bus runs on diesel. And if you've got a generator at home, chances are that it runs on diesel too. Uh, next, we have lubricating oil, which keeps our machines running so smoothly. It reduces friction between moving parts and makes sure engines and machines don't wear out too quickly. Okay, And then there is bitumen. You might not hear about it often, but you definitely see it every day. It is used for road surface tiring and even in paints. Yes, the smooth road we drive on, that's bitumen. Next, we have kerosene, which is also again a household product, which is used widely used in uh, kerosene stove and lamps. It is also a fuel for jet aircraft. 
And finally, we have paraffin wax. This stuff is found in things like uh, candles and even uh, uh, Vaseline, right? Next time when you use a lip balm or a lighter candle, remember it has come from deep under the ocean, which was once a tiny creature which was living happily under the bottom of the ocean, right? It's fascinating the journey of petroleum uh, from deep under the ocean to our everyday lives, right? So remember our big question, what is petrol and how does it come from aquatic life? Well, now we have our answer. It all starts with the tiny marine organisms that lived millions and millions of years ago. Over time, uh, nature worked its magic, transforming the ancient creature into petroleum, which is then refined into different products we use every day. And petrol, it is just one of those many byproducts of petroleum. Now here is something to think about every time you use a petroleum product whether it is you are filling your uh, vehicle car scooter or even applying even lighting a candle just pause for a second and think where did it come from how old is it because the answer it goes way back to 300 million years ago 